So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where he's at today, but his topic last week was what? Does everybody remember last week's topic? It was what? Branding yourself. Branding yourself. He came out on last week, and he's talking about the Young Money event he, he's doing. He's about using social media. So, can we give a warm welcome to none other than Regional Vice President Platinum, <clears throat> the great Mr. Shaquille Cooper? Right now, but I'm excited to be on the call today. It's always a pleasure to be on the call. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Like Mr. Thomas says, you know, what if Valentine's Day was every day? You know, like, that's how I operate my life. Every day is a holiday. So, you know, you guys get a chance to spend um a lot of time with the people that you love. Um, And it's really great to do that. But guess what? What if you do that every day? What if you can just buy your partner or your kids a Valentine's Day trip or gifts or whatever you want to buy them every single day? And it's possible when you become an entrepreneur. So last week, we talked about Brandon. Real quick, for the people that don't know who I am, my name is Shaquille Cooper. I'm currently... I'm about to be 31, <laughs> like three weeks. I'm about to be 31. Uh, but I got involved in ACN almost 11 years ago. So imagine this is the longest thing I've ever done in life, 11 years, uh, being a full-time entrepreneur. It's been one of the best things I've ever done. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love the journey that I got a chance to be on. And to me, I was thinking about it every day. A lot of people think about the destination. I'm trying to get to this position, this position. But once you embrace the journey that you're on, the ups, the downs, the valleys, the peaks, you understand that it's all about the journey. Because at the end of the day, if you do what you're supposed to do, you're going to be where you need to be. So I got started in the business, no business background, college student, close friends of mine, invited me out. And from there on, I saw the opportunity and I got started right in the spot. And it's a quick tip. Successful people make decisions fast. I didn't say, let me go talk to my mom. I didn't say, let me go talk to my dad. Let me go hear somebody else's opinion before I do what I need to do. I signed up, then I talked to everyone else about it. I didn't tell no one, hey, what do you think about this business? I'm thinking about doing it. When I signed up, I told you guys, I had an event the next day. The next day I had an event and got my first business partner right away. So for me, it just made a lot of sense. When I chose to get started in the business was to just make a decision fast. And by me making a decision fast, it took my business to the next level because I didn't wait. Just think about a rocket ship, right? What if they took a rocket ship forever to get off the ground? It's not going to go nowhere. It's just going to just blow up right then and there. And that's what people do to their business. They start off slow. They said, I want to wait until all of my friends and my family members can get together on one day, 30 days later, to come see the business instead of saying, you know what? I'm having something at my home tomorrow. And I need you to be there. See, we was talking to people the way that they need to be talked to. I wasn't asking people to come. I was telling people to come because I knew that 9 times 10, they ain't got nothing going on that that's important that they're not open to making extra streams of income. Listen, unless you're a multi-billionaire, there's always extra income to be made. So that was just my mindset. So today, I want to talk about seven, I'm going to give you seven tips when it comes to branding yourself as a leader and the things that you need to do. So the first one is lead with integrity. We're going to start off right there. Lead with integrity. Why is it important to lead with integrity? It's very important to lead with integrity because your name is all you got. So if you're a person with high integrity, people are going to respect you. People are going to follow you. And people are going to listen to what you have to say because a person that has integrity is a rare person. Because we live in a day and age where people will give up their integrity for some money. So when you can be that person that have integrity, you can build trust and, and credibility by always acting with ethics, always acting with a code of conduct, meaning that you do what's right. You're leading your people in the right direction because when you lead your people in the right direction and you be real with your people and you help your people, they're going to respect you. It's going to be easy for you to lead people, but you can't lead people if you're not leading with integrity. So again, number one, lead with integrity. That's the first thing that I wanted to talk about because that's what has helped me got to the point of where I'm at. I've been leading with integrity since I've been in business, since my entire life, because I understand that if you do bad business, guess what's going to happen? They're going to tell everyone about you. But if you do good business, they're also going to tell everyone about you. So just do good business. It's literally that simple. Do what you said you're going to do long after the feeling had went away. So when you tell someone, I'm going to show up to your home to do a meeting tomorrow, 
and you don't show up, you're not leading with integrity. Even if one person, you know how many meetings I used to show up to where it was just me and the guests? I'm sorry, me and the host? Literally, we pull up, ready to go, anybody coming? But I showed up. But they respected my time because they knew that I showed up. And then they had another event, and guess what? It was a big event. So again, lead with integrity. Number two, foster a supportive culture. Meaning that create a positive and a supportive team environment where everyone feels valued, motivated, and encouraged to succeed. If you was a part of our team, the only reason why you're not winning because you didn't work hard enough to win. Because our culture was everybody's winning. All these young kids winning. How is it possible? Because they're part of the culture. That was the secret to success. It was just that everyone motivated. Oh, I'm going after this position. I'm going to beat you to that position. We were always racing each other to the next position. And that's what kind of pushed everyone to get to the top of the company. Because if you're not pushing each other to get to the top, then what are you guys doing? You guys have a nonprofit organization. We had a for-profit organization. So you want to create that for-profit organization. And the only way to do that is by having that supportive culture of you helping everyone. But also what happened, though, was people from other legs of business started partnering up with other legs of business. So even though they wasn't getting paid off each other, they were still supporting and motivating each other and building relationships. But in the end, I got paid off everybody. So the reason why having a supportive culture, because you might not be the person that might keep that person in the business. It might be the relationship that they build with another person that's a part of your organization that kept them and motivated them to get to the top of the company. Because that's what I've happened throughout my journey since being part of this business, right? Number three, provide clear vision and goals. If there's no vision, there's no goal, there's no target, guess what's going to happen? No one's going to be motivated to get to where they need to go. Set clear goals and communicate a compelling vision for your team to rally around. So my team was always rallying around me being the youngest RVP. I would tell people, I, I'm going to be the youngest RVP. If anyone know me, they knew that I spoke my goals into existence since day one. Some people call it cockiness. I call it belief. Because I believe that I can, I told everyone, everything I tell people I'm going to do, listen, I'm going to do it. See, they worry about when I'm going to do it. I just know I'm going to do it. So once you get the win out of your vocabulary and the fact that in your mind that it's only a matter of time before I get to where I need to be, you're going to get there. Remove the win out of your, your mind. And the reason why, because when it comes to your vision, when it comes to your goals, you're not God. You don't know when you're going to hit that target. But you know that if you put in the work, eventually you will hit that target. So again, provide clear vision and goals. What's your goals? Do you have any goals? What's your next 10-year goals? Where do you want to be in the next 10 years? Most people don't even know where they want to be in the next three months. You got to have goals. If you don't have no goals, they say in the Bible, people without goals will perish. I think that's what they said. <laughs> but guess what? It's true. Everyone that I grew up with that didn't have goals, guess what they're doing today? Nothing. And they had a head start over me. Everyone that I knew growing up, they had a head start over me. I didn't get my first job until I was 17. I'm a college dropout. These people, they smarter than me. I'm not the smartest person, but you can't out-hustle me. I'm self-motivated. I don't need no one to motivate me. I don't need no one to give me a prep talk. Hey, man, you know, you got to get out there and go get it. No, I'm always the one telling people to get up and go get it. When I wake up, I brush my teeth, hop in the shower, and I'm ready to get to the money. If that's not your mindset, what are you doing? Because guess what? You already do it for somebody else. You wake up 6 o'clock in the morning. You get dressed. You eat a breakfast that you don't want to eat. You get your kids ready. You rush out to work, sit in traffic to go be somewhere to build somebody else's business. But you won't do that for two hours a day to build your own business. Does that make sense? You're motivated to build somebody else's dream. But when it's time to build your own dream, there's all these questions. You don't question yourself when you get up 5 o'clock in the morning out of your sleep. Get in the cold, warm your car up. To go be a place that you don't want to be because you got to do what? Pay the bills that we get paid on. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. You're motivated to go build somebody else's dream, but when it's time to build your own dreams, that's when it gets hard. Okay. Number four, empower and develop others. Encourage personal and professional growth among your team members by providing training, mentorship, and opportunity for advancement. Meaning that you got to grow as a 
a person, she can help other people, bro. So everything that you're doing is for the betterment of the organization. It's not just about you. Listen, this is a team effort. You can't just worry about you in a business. But if you are worrying about you, only thing you need to worry about is being a better person every single day that you wake up. Because there's other people that's looking up to you to grow for information. So if you're not growing, you're not learning new things, you can't teach other people new things. Because what I understand is that leaders are readers. If you're not reading, if you're not watching videos about motivation, if you're not got that drive every single day where you're just excited to go at life, how can you motivate other people to do the same thing? Number five, lead by example. Lead by example. Lead by example. Everyone's watching you. You're the leader. So whatever you do is what other people is going to do. See, the reason why my business is still growing on autopilot 11 years later, 11, 11 years, still on autopilot. How was that possible? Because I led by example. There's no secret. Everyone that I started with, they're not here today, but guess what? There's a whole lot of people that, that did start with me that's still here and they're still doing everything that I taught them 11 years ago. What are you still getting paid for that you started 11 years ago? Because it was funny back then when people was like, oh, that ain't going to be around. You know, you're going to quit in the next year. 11 years later, still getting paid. It's Wednesday. Guess what I'm about to still do? I'm about to get paid. We got some qualifications in the back office. I'm still getting paid 11 years later for something that I started 11 years ago. And I ain't even 31 yet. That's like, you ever saw the lottery thing back in the day where what if you got $500 a week for the rest of your life? How would you feel? I feel like that when I got involved with ACN. I've been getting paid consistently. There's never been a month that went by that I've never got paid in this company. It's never. It's really never been really a week that I, you know, but that's just a whole, people don't even believe that's possible. That a company will pay you for something that you started years ago and it still continues to grow to this day. Most people don't even have the same job from 11 years ago and they worked way harder than me. What if you put that same effort into building your own business? Where can you be in the next 10 years? Stop thinking about next two years. Look at ACN as a long-term investment. A long-term investment. As long as the company's around, I'm around. That's how I'm looking at it. If they're going to be around for the next 100 years, guess what? I will see them for the next 100 years because I plan on living until I'm 100 anyway. And the company started when I was the same year I was born. So guess what? is about to be 31 years old. Guess who else is about to be 31 years old? Me. So I'm growing with the company. Uh, number six, communicate effectively. Keep an open lines of communication with your team, providing regular updates, feedback, support to help them succeed. We used to use Facebook a lot. Facebook group, keep everybody motivated. Every time a new person um have success or got promoted, congratulations. This person just hit 20 points, 30 points, qualification, ETL, RD, RC, SVP. Every time a person got promoted, we put it out there into the group. And guess what it did? It motivated the next person to do it too. It was like, oh, if that person can do it, I can do it too. Listen, it's all about motivation. Having that clear communication mean that your peoples have to be able to call you. When they call you, you pick up. You don't listen. Your phone should never be on Do Not Disturb. That was one of the worst things that Apple ever created was letting people put their phones on Do Not Disturb if they're not successful. Because when money is calling, you're not picking up. My phone's never on Do Not Disturb. When it's about some money, disturb me. I don't care if it's 2 o'clock in the morning. You got to have that mindset. If you're not where you need to be at, why do you need to be on Do Not Disturb? I want people to call me if it's about some money. Call my phone. I got three of them. Call me. I will pick up. But guess what? And hard, like I never made a dollar. Most people make a little bit of money and they get comfortable. I'm hungry. I'm not where I need to be yet. Yes, it's great I've done what I've done yet, but that's practice. I need 100 million. 
And I'm not going to settle until I become a hundred millionaire. And I'm telling you, it's going to happen. I've seen it for other people. So guess what that means? They're not, they're not more special than me. I just got to outwork them. Every day I wake up, every day I wake up, I hustle. And I don't need no one to motivate me. I motivate myself because I want more out of life. I want to have a house in Florida. I want a mansion on the beach in Florida. I want a penthouse in New York. I want to live in Malibu in California. I want acres of land in Texas. I want a big house in Atlanta. Listen, I want houses everywhere. I want a yacht. I want it all. Because you only got one life to live. I never met a person that came back and said, listen, no, live this to the fullest. Heaven on earth. I'm living it to the fullest. And that's how I treat my life. And that's how you, that's the mindset. If you're on this call, that's the mindset that you got to have. Because listen, if you're not thinking big, then guess what? You're not going to, it's like me speaking Chinese and you speak English. You're not going to understand what I'm talking about. Because it takes a certain type of belief and a type of mindset to even understand what I'm talking about. If you don't dream big, then guess what you do? You dream small. And small dreams lead to small results, which leads to nothing. So you got to trick your mind to thinking that I can have and do anything I want to do. There's nothing, listen, there's nothing in the world that's impossible. Nothing. Why? Because the life I've been able to live the past 11 years, most people thought it was impossible. They thought it couldn't have been done. So when people hit me up all the time, I was like, man, I was ACN. You still doing that? I just got paid last week. What are you talking about? And you still getting paid for what you did 11 years ago? Asking me, am I still doing something? Come on. Come on, people. Let's be real. Let's be real. No one never knew me for starting and stopping anything. I finished what I start. Business is still growing to this day. Leaders are still grinding. People are still getting paid. 11 years later. Why? Because of the system. You create that system, you're going to win. Number seven, recognize and reward achievements. This is important. This is going to end with this. You got to recognize your peoples. We used to give out trophies. We used to get certificates. I used to go outside. You know, ACN used to have um, on the ACN compass where you can uh, print out the different um, certificates and you can like import it and go to Office Depot, print it out, go to the dollar store, put it in the um the little frame and give it to the people. Listen, that's what we used to do. I used to come to train boxing to those. Congratulations. Guess what? When people feel appreciated, it's more gas than the guard and do it. Because guess what? People don't feel appreciated at that job. They don't. They don't feel appreciated at all. So when you make people feel appreciated, guess what happened? They want to go out there and build the business, right? It's like an incentive for them to go out there and motivate them to continue to do the successful things that they need to do. But it also gives them loyalty because guess what? When was the last time your job gave you a certificate? When last time your job gave you a trophy? So some of these people that might not be around no more, guess what? They still have that trophy or that certificate in their living room. They see it every single day. It's one of the, the because guess what? The last time most people got a trophy was when they played Pee Wee football 20, 40 years ago. One last time you got an achievement for doing work. Most people don't have that. But we did that. And guess what? I'm telling you, I still got mine to this day. It's actually, it's at my mom's house. All my trophies. So every time they walk past the living room, guess what? They know that son been hustling. That son been grinding. My parents are proud of me. My family is proud of me. Who's proud of you? When's the last time someone told you that they're proud of you? When's the last time someone told you, man, you the one? So again, it's not to sound cocky on this call. I'm telling you guys. This is a type of confidence that you got to have if you want to win as an entrepreneur. You got to have a backbone. You can't have a wishbone because it's not easy. It sounds easy, and most people don't understand how easy it is until you actually get out there and do it. And not just do it for a year. Listen, 11 years, I'm still here. 11 years. It's a long time to be involved in business. 
a profitable business. Let me correct myself. That's a long time to have a profitable business that's still growing every single day, every single week. You can have the same thing. We got the same back office, the same leadership, the same training, the same everything. The difference between me and everybody else is when I got involved, I took off. I didn't wait. I didn't sit around and had questions. No, I found my way to the top. I just did it. You just got to do it. Like Nike said, just do it. The more you do it, the better you become. The more you do it, the better you become. Stop asking a million questions. Just do it. It's great to ask your mentor questions. It's great. But at the end of the day, I'd rather deal with a person that just keep doing it because eventually they're going to win. They're going to win. It's only a matter of time before you win. There's no secret to success other than consistency. ACN is easy. But you know what's not easy? Doing the same thing every single day over and over and over and over again. Everything's easy if you do it one time. But to do it repeatedly, just imagine 365 days in a year. You do the math. I'm going to do math real quick. 365 times 11. That's 4,015 days. Think about it. I know people that's been working a job for 40 years to retire less than 40%. And I'm not bashing jobs, people. I'm just telling you that you're already doing the work for somebody else. Just do some of that for yourself. That's all I'm telling you. You're already doing the work. You're already working hard. It's time to work smart. It's just time to work smart. That's all I'm telling you. If you're going to put in this time, you're going to put in your energy, you're going to give your everything to a company that you don't own, why not put into something that you can build it one day? You can pass it on to your kids' kids. You can't see me getting paid off for something that you started years ago because guess what? Bills ain't going nowhere. They're only going up. <laughs> Think about it. Bills is going up. When people bills go up, guess what? So do our paychecks. That's just the way the business is set up. People are not paying $30 light bill no more like they was years ago. Them light bills got, a cut, got an extra zero on it now. Especially in the South. People complaining, my gas, my gas, my, my electric, because they don't pay for gas in Texas for the most part. People, almost $300. I remember when it was like $70, $80 when I first came to Houston. I'm like, man. So imagine on the East Coast, some people paying $600. It's cold. They paying gas and electric. The higher the bill, the more you get paid. So again, those are the seven tips. And I'm going to repeat it one more time. Again, number one, lead with integrity. Number two, foster a supportive culture. Number three, provide clear vision and goals. Number four, empower and develop others. Number five, lead by examples. Number six, communicate effectively. And number seven, recognize and reward achievements. That's all I got for you guys today. If you guys take the information as always and implement it, I'm telling you, I just gave you a million dollars worth the game. I'm never going to tell you to do anything that's not working because guess what? It's Wednesday. I checked the back office. There's some money that's pending. So guess what that shows? The company is still working. And don't worry about the amount. Just worry about the fact that it's coming in on a weekly. And I started 11 years ago. That's how I look at the business. I'm grateful. I'm appreciated. So when you operate with gratitude, guess what's going to happen? The business is going to continue to grow. I'm grateful. I don't care if they was giving me $100 a week. I'm grateful. That just paid for my charge for my Tesla for a whole month. It's like $10 every other day. You know, so, you know, thanks to ACN, I drive a free Tesla, honestly. ACN pays for my Tesla and my son's school. How can you complain? My son get to go to the best school. I get to drive the best car. It's a win-win situation. How can you beat it? You can't beat it. So again, whatever your goals is, listen, even if you just wanted to pay for your child daycare, it's possible. Even if you just wanted extra groceries a month, it's possible. Stop worrying about the amount and just worry about the fact that you got something that's going to continue to come in consistently over a long period of time. So I'm grateful. Be grateful because having gratitude with the little that you got will help you get a lot of what you want. You got to be grateful, though. You got to be grateful. That's the number one thing when it comes to success.
Be grateful. Be grateful if you're driving your car and it's a 1995. Because before you know it, you're going to be driving in 2025. I was grateful in my Ultima. I was grateful in my Infinity before I got my BMW M6. So I've been on both ends of the spectrum. I was grateful when I had the small apartment. But I was also grateful when I had the condo downtown and the, the harbor was my backyard. So I've been able to listen. It's all about gratitude, people. Be grateful for where you are, but don't be stagnant where you are. Always want more, but the only way to do it is by working. Working hard is what shows the universe that you have gratitude. The saying that is easy, but actually doing the action to actually go out there and keep grinding is what's going to continue to get the blessings that you desire. So again, I pass the call back to you, Mr. Thomas.